Hello, hello, and welcome to myfinanceteacher.org. In this video, we're talking about Bitcoin again. In the last video about Bitcoin, we were talking about a triangle where Bitcoin was consolidating after a nice run in the second half of March. And we also mentioned that once Bitcoin breaks out of the triangle, where that's when you wanted to enter your positions. We said that there was a 60% chance of a breakout on the upside, and that's what actually happened. In my personal trade, I closed that long position here on the 2nd of April when there was a nice little spike in Bitcoin price. But after that, Bitcoin price came down noticeably from over 7,200 to under 6,900. So because of that decline, I closed my long position with a nice little profit. And I'm now contemplating another speculative, very risky long position over the next very short term. And here are the factors that I'm considering. What I see on the chart right now is a bearish wedge. So sometime over the next several days, possibly over the next week or so, I would expect Bitcoin to break down from this bearish wedge. But I want to speculate a little bit. Over the next couple of days, there is a chance that Bitcoin tries again to come up to the upper range of this bearish wedge before it breaks down. I also wonder if Bitcoin will manage to at least retest the 50-day moving average at the top of its ongoing cycle. And the 50-day moving average is nearly 10% higher than the current price. Another reason I also want to try this risky short-term trade is because a few days ago Bitcoin only poked once through the upper range of the Bollinger Bands. And I think there might be a chance that Bitcoin pokes once or twice again through the upper range of the Bollinger Band before actually dropping down from this bearish wedge. We are now on day 23 of the ongoing cycle. These cycles in Bitcoin usually last for about a couple of months. So this cycle is not very young already. We are close to the middle of this cycle which means there is still a chance for Bitcoin to continue upwards to give us a top sometime soon, over the next couple of weeks, possibly. But there is also a chance that we have topped a few days ago on the 2nd of April and um, Bitcoin might continue downwards for the rest of the cycle. After all, we had a similar scenario playing out in the past. Notice that recently, in the beginning of March, we had a significant drop in Bitcoin. And something similar happened at the end of 2018. At that time, after this significant drop, Bitcoin price recovered pretty quickly towards that 50-day moving average. But the market would be scared to buy into an asset that dropped so much relatively recently. So there was a long period when volatility in Bitcoin was relatively low. And for the rest of that cycle, Bitcoin just gradually moved downwards. Looking at RSI, the 14-day RSI right now is slightly above 51. So there is still a lot of space to move towards the overbought territory. There is no guarantee that RSI will reach into that overbought territory. But this is just another factor that pushes me to try this risky long position on Bitcoin over the next short term. So sometime today I'm going to take this long position, but I want to manage my level of risk, so I'm going to keep my stop loss relatively tight if Bitcoin breaks below this bearish wedge, meaning that if Bitcoin breaks below 6,600 or 6,700, I will stop out with a tiny loss. So to summarize, over the very short term, over the next several days, I think there is a chance that Bitcoin goes up to poke through the upper range of the Bollinger Bands a couple of times and uh, retest the 50-day moving average, possibly even go up to the 200-day moving average. Over the medium term, over the next month or so, as we move into the second half of this ongoing two-month cycle, I would expect Bitcoin to decline, but I don't think the decline will be significant. After a lot of volatility at the beginning of March, I think we should enter the period of relatively low volatility. And in the very long term, talking about the next several years, I am extremely bullish on Bitcoin. After all, next month, is sometime in May this year, we're going to have Bitcoin halving, meaning that the production of Bitcoin every day will decrease by half. That reduces the supply of Bitcoin. And on the other hand, over the last several weeks, 
the Fed and the US government have printed multiple trillions of dollars. The same thing is happening in many other countries of the world. So in the long term, that is all extremely bullish for Bitcoin and other hard assets. For that reason, in my personal portfolio, I only trade about 10% of my Bitcoins for some uh, play money. And with the rest of 90%, I just hold it without touching it over a long period of time. So that's my outlook for Bitcoin over the next short term, medium term and long term. Let me know what you guys think about Bitcoin. In addition to that, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And for now, I wish you a nice weekend and good luck in your trades.